Welcome to the TrickShift Garage. In this video, we'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to change the oil and filter on GM's 5.3 liter LED3 V8. This engine was in a ton of vehicles, so this video applies to you if you own a 2014 to 2018 Chevrolet Silverado or GMC Sierra, a 2015 to 2019 Chevrolet Tahoe or GMC Yukon, and lastly, a 2015 to 2019 Chevrolet Suburban or GMC Yukon XL. All right, so the first step you want to do is you want to loosen your oil cap. And then I'll just leave it on there loosely. Yeah, that's fine right there. Uh, this is basically just to let air seep in through the valve cover to help aid oil drainage. Helps it drain a little bit faster. All right, and then you just want to make sure you got your cardboard sheet. Or if you don't have a cardboard, a uh, drop cloth. Um, you can get them at like Harbor Freight or whatever for a pretty cheap price. So this is my brand new oil drain pan. Uh, this is supposed to be used for like carrying it with you when you go to dispose it and you recycle it. Uh, just want to make sure this thing's on tight. You want to make sure this little breather valve, whatever drain can you make sure that's open. Because if you don't open it when you're draining, what happens is the oil will drain in but there's nowhere for the air to really escape from. Okay, so then oil will just start filling this whole area up and then you'll overflow. So definitely make sure you have this cap open just to help it to breathe better. Just want to slide your oil drain pan underneath where the drain plug is. So this is where the drain plug is. It's going to be right here. You'll see your oil filter right next door, okay? Uh, I would have to say GM made this very easy, very simple to do. Um, so this drain plug here is a 15 millimeter and you're going to break this loose. And... Ooh. and let the oil drain. Next step is going to be loosening this oil filter. And what you want to do is get your oil filter wrench and just make sure that you're actually loosening it. Okay. Turn it around. And you should start seeing some oil come up. See some oil come up. That's good. more I think most of the oil is out now so make sure you got a good handle on the filter because once it comes it's going to just fall in your hands all right so go ahead and you want to clean off your drain plug make sure that this gasket is good and it's, there's no tears or it's not falling apart on you. And just clean the outside threads here. Okay. What I like to do is just uh, put a little brake clean on it. Gets the oil off. Uh, try to avoid the uh, rubber gasket, obviously. But this looks good. This can go back in. All right. So let's go ahead and put the drain plug back in. that all right so for the uh, drain plug you want to tighten this down to 18 foot pounds of torque or just tighten it as tight as you can by hand either one but you know me I like using my torque wrenches so here we go 18 foot pounds of torque and drain plug is good to go all right so before you put the oil filter on you want to make sure that the old oil filter gasket is off of the uh, oil filter housing there. And you can also check by checking the old filter. So you just pick up the old oil filter and you can see the, uh, the gasket still on there, which is good. Don't have to worry about that now. All we got to do now is just clean around here where the oil filter was. Get all the old oil and gunk out of there all right so we're going to go ahead and get the oil filter ready 
And what you want to do is just take the oil filter out and just inspect it. Make sure the gasket's good. Make sure the threads are good. Um, the type of oil filter that this gets for AC Ducco is going to be PF63. Okay, that's the, uh, that's the original oil filter that comes from the factory. And what I like to do is take oil and carefully pour it into the center. About halfway. Okay, and so what this does is basically when you start the car, um, it reduces the amount of time that there's low oil pressure on the engine and it just it just helps on an initial startup So there's there's less wear that that falls on the engine get a little more oil And then obviously you want to take some oil and just rub it around the gasket Like so get a little bit on the threads here Okay, so right at this point this oil filter is ready to go All right, so you want to take your new oil filter line it up and just turn it on and you want to make sure that you don't over tighten these do not use an oil filter wrench or any kind of tool these are designed to be only hand tightened um, if you over tighten it you, you risk the possibility of crushing the gasket on the filter and then causing a whole bunch of more leaks so as tight as you can by hand and that's good this is when you want to just grab your brake cleaner and just spray the area. Alright, just wanna dry, wipe everything off. And the reason why we, we clean this off is if this drain plug is not good and leaking, we can catch the oil starting to accumulate on the bottom of this drain pan. Same for the oil filter. If we don't have it on tight enough, we'll see the oil start accumulating on the bottom of the filter here. Okay. Take your drain pan out. All right, so go ahead and remove your oil cap, and then we're gonna put our funnel in and start pouring your oil. All right, five quarts in, three more to go. For the second jug, you gotta count by these quarts, okay? One side is liter, the other side is quart. Okay, so you're starting at five quarts, so we need to go down four quart, three quart. We need to have two quarts left, okay? So we need to be at this line to get eight quarts total in the engine. Perfect. There's two quarts left in here. I'm gonna save this for my next oil change. But yeah, at this point, we can go ahead and put the oil cap back on. Take this funnel out. And just look over your oil cap, make sure that it's in good order. Go ahead and just screw this in until you can't screw no more. And that's it. All right, so at this point, we got the oil in. All we have to do left is just back the truck off the ramps until we're on level ground, okay? Uh, let it run for a few minutes. We can reset the oil life while it's doing that um, Then turn it off wait five to ten minutes check the oil level and then we're done unchock your wheels And just keep an eye on that oil pressure up there in the top right corner. Make sure that actually goes up so that way we know the engine's running on oil pressure. Basically, to reset your oil life, all you got to do is make sure that you're under that oil life there, okay? And then you just want to push and hold the check button, which is right here. All right, so we're just going to push and hold that. Okay, now the oil life is reset back to 100%. All right, let's pull out the cardboard. No oil puddles, that's a good thing, means no leaks. All right, so the next step is we're gonna pull the oil dipstick out. First thing you wanna do is just pull it out, wipe it nice and clean, make sure there's no oil in it. Put the oil dipstick 
back all the way down and then pull it out as you can see there the oil level is right at the top of the cross-hatched area meaning that it's full put it back in and that's it all right that's it for this video the oil is back in it's the right level everything's good to go with that for your old oil just make sure that you um, call your local auto parts store and they should be able to either accept your old oil for recycling or they can at least tell you where you can take your used oil to um, other than that that's it for this video um thank you for watching if you like our work go ahead hit that like subscribe and notification bell for more trick shift garage videos and we'll see you on the next one